Have you ever fucked an old lady before? Hey everybody, how's it going? I hope you've been having a wonderful couple of days that I haven't uploaded. So I'm going to try something a little bit different in today's video if you don't mind. This video isn't going to be about one singular topic. It's going to be about many topics and stories. So please watch the video and leave your feedback in the comments below on whether you're a fan of this style of video or if you prefer my one video, one story type of videos. Feedback in the comments is greatly appreciated, fam. So YouTube is testing out a new feature where they're going to remove the dislike count on videos from viewer screens. And the reasoning behind this new feature is to protect creators from negative feedback. And tons of YouTubers, including myself, are pretty annoyed with this feature. Like, for example, Angry Joe Show said the following. What would be far more helpful than this lazy attempt to address a larger issue would be for you guys to actually enforce rules with bans and suspensions against channels that falsely DMCA others. Not this. There needs to be real consequences for that, not cover-ups for dislikes. And Andrew Gooden also made a great point on Twitter saying that the problem with websites that don't have dislike buttons is it's harder for people to get an idea of what's actually good and what's bad. Like if Twitter had a dislike button, you guys could see how much everybody hates this. From my perspective at least, I think this change is complete bullshit. It's just a feature that suppresses people from expressing any negative opinions. What if someone makes a horrible apology video? What if someone is caught doing something disgusting and we gotta catch them in 4K? Who's gonna know? Not the viewer, but the person responsible for the channel. The owner of the channel is the only one that can see the dislike count. It's dumb. Like, take a look at my latest video about the queefing girl. One of my most disliked videos I have ever made, which I still don't understand why. I mean, maybe the dislikes are just jealous people that can't queef, but I digress. I love the dislike count of my videos. I know it's weird to say that, but dislikes really do help me and other creators get an idea on what you guys are a fan of and what you guys don't like. And for the record, I'm proud of the queefing video, so you can go ahead and dislike it all you want. I like it. I'm a fan of it. It's one of my favorite videos. Even the creator of the queef herself commented on my video and said that she loves it. So you can go ahead and lick my balls. So according to YouTube, the dislike count will be visible for the uploader only. How will the viewer know whether it's a terrible video or not? It's dumb and I don't agree with it. And if YouTube puts this feature on my channel, I'm going to rub my ass on the pavement. Next thing we're going to talk about is a little bit more serious. So if you guys can't handle uncomfortable things, just go ahead and click off the video right now. But streamer Prodigy X has been arrested on charges of child abuse. So his real name is Robert. He was a Twitch streamer. I think he had like 50,000 followers, if I'm not mistaken. He has been charged on four felony counts, including two counts of first degree child abuse and two counts of first degree child molestation. He was originally reported to CPS or Child Protective Services by his estranged wife Bonnie after their kids made allegations about their stepdad doing these inappropriate actions. Now Robert has not been found guilty yet but his court proceedings are scheduled for April 12th. On April 12th we'll find out whether he's going to big boy jail or not. Now there is absolutely no excuse for a grown ass man to mistreat a child like that. It's disgusting. It's atrocious. It's appalling. If Robert is found guilty then he should be ashamed of his actions and he should be locked up forever because that is not appropriate behavior. I send my condolences to the family especially the kids. Like this is a real shame. I, I hope these guys get the justice that they deserve and I hope they never have to face something so atrocious ever again. And finally, your favorite TikTok star Charlie D'Amelio was banned from TikTok. Oh my god, it's the end of the world. What did she do this time to get banned? How will this affect the global economy? Well, shut the hell up, all right? Damn. Like all usual Charlie D'Amelio stories, she didn't do anything. She just somehow ended up getting banned by TikTok. I, I guess TikTok took a massive dump and banned her account by mistake. Her account came back about an hour later, but fans were very concerned and curious as to why her account disappeared into the endless void of darkness that surrounds our daily lives and never seems to go away. Just like a tick or a disease or a stalker or a parasite or butt aids. Anyways guys, to recap, YouTube is about to make a giant mistake by removing dislikes from the public eye, Prodigy X is disgusting and a scum, and Charlie D'Amelio is alive, safe, and not banned from TikTok anymore. GG boys, we did it. Once again guys, feedback on this video is greatly appreciated, so drop a comment down below on whether you prefer me putting more than one story into a video, or if you want me to continue the usual one story per video like I've been doing. Or maybe you like both styles and want me to do both. Let me know, please. Do it! <laughs> oh god, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. Oh my god. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. Subscribe to my beautiful YouTube channel. Click the bell icon to be notified of when I upload. Follow me on Snap, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, and join my lovely Discord server. Links are in the description below. Have a wonderful, fantastic, amazing day. And please remember to wash your hands before touching your friends. Because you don't know where your friends have been. Everything you want is